everyone, I'm Simeon Grace. First, I want to appreciate everyone for the love I received on my birthday. I feel so honored and blessed to have you all. Once again, thank you very much. God bless you. Here is another tutorial on double fledged shirt dress and it's in form of an eye low dress. All the measurements we need is the full length of the dress, the front and the back length, the shoulder measurement, sleeve length, the round sleeve and the bust circumference measurements. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button, click, click on the bell as well so as to get notified each time we upload a new video. So, let's move to the cutting table. my fabric in a, a triangle shape and because I don't really want a, a wide dress I don't really want it to be wide as such that's the reason I'm not bringing it to the extreme end so I'm reducing it because I don't really want it to be too wide so just fold your triangle shape and now I'm going to measure the shoulder. I'm going to measure the shoulder here. I'll be cutting the back first. I'll be cutting the back first and I'm going to take the shoulder measurement. Shoulder divided by two. Shoulder is 14 divided by two is seven inches. So I mark out the point. Of course, in case um, you need to learn how to cut different types of flair from single, double. I have a tutorial on that, on how to cut different types of flair. That is going to help you to go about this. Now I've gotten my seven inches. The back length is longer than the front and the back length is 40 inches. So the 40 inches is what I'm going to take now. Forty inches. I'm adding one, which is my allowance. Just one inch. So, this is the back length, and I'm cutting this out. Now, another thing you need to consider when folding is the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 34 inches. So you need to first take down the arm o length of 8.5 inches. That's 8.5. And consider the bust measurement. The bust is 34 inches and I'll add just 4 inches divided by 4. 34 plus 4 divided by 4 is 9.5. Now, at my arm all point, there's need for me to confirm if I have more than 9.5 inches, which is the bust measurement. And here I have 11.5 inches. So, automatically, I have excess. So, you need to consider the bust measurement too while folding your fabric. All right. So, this is the back. I'll also fold my fabric to cut the front bodies. So to fold the front, I just place the front on it. And remember to add the button holes allowance. So since it's going to overlap for button and um, button holes, I added extra two inches, two inches. So I'm going to cut out the same thing, which is the shoulder measurements. And the front length is 35 inches so 35 inches is what i'm going to measure round plus my same allowance i'll make it 36 inches
Now we are going to cut out the shoulder. And that is measure down, I mean the arm O. So to measure down 8.5 inches. So I already marked that this is my 8.5 inches. Now I need to use this to cut it out. Mm? Or in case you don't have your cuff, in case you don't have your cuff, you can just draw out the shape or place this as you can see exactly so you can just use your hand to sketch it out all right so we move to the neck the width is 2.5 inches this is the front and this is the back remember so the weight measurement is 2.5 inches i'm going to start measuring from the back because we had an allowance to the front now that's the width and the back depth is just half an inch while the front depth is three inches You can use your your cuff to get the shape if you have that and if not you can just use your hand to sketch out the design i'm still going to slant by one inch on the ham hole pad to slant my shoulder and i'll slant with one inch all right so the front i'm going to slit that so we cut the sleeve and then the collar we'll be doing that we'll be doing the cutting of the collar in the sewing tutorial so we'll cut out the sleeve now to fold my sleeve the length is 13 inches so i have 14 inches my seam allowance and the round sleeve divided by two is five so plus three is eight that's to fold but now i have nine inches it's a bishop sleeve so this is nine inches first i need to measure down my four the round sleeve 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus 1 i'll make it 6 and because it's going to have a bit of gathers at the base so i added another one inch to make it seven inches so that means i have excess because i added one inch extra now i'm going to to call this to fix to my arm o to make this easy you can just um slant bring out a slant shape first just slant a slant shape then you curve it at the upper part then take it down below to get the shape i'll use this to cut the other sleeve and what we need left is going to be the band like i said the color will be done in the sewing tutorial of this video remember we upload separately so if this is your first time on this channel kindly click the subscribe button click on the bell as well to get notified when we upload a new video don't forget to leave your comments in the comments box you can ask questions and then you get answers I'm also going to cut out band so the band is going to be my round sleeve measurement the length is just three inches three inches is the length I had that half an inch for the same so it's going to be my round sleeve the normal round sleeve measurement and that is 10 
So plus one for the sewing allowance, I'm making it 11 inches. I also need two of these to fix on the other sleeve. So I guess we are done with this. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at O Africa TV. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Caris Creations. So, I guess we are done with the cutting. I'll see you in the sewing class. Bye.